Assalamu alaikum my dear students how are you hope all of you are well with the grace of almighty allah welcome to NIEVS home school this is Shahzad Yattar assistant teacher of science of national ideal english version of school Deshi. today i am going to take a physics class for class 9 students our today's topic chapter 8 formation of image our today's lecture number 35 and SW number 31 my dear students let's start our class today <coughs> We will discuss formation of image. At first, uh, so see the question for a concave, um, convex mirror, show where the image will be formed for an, uh, uh, for an object x, y uh, by drawing a red diagram. See this figure here given a convex mirror, convex and the where f is the focal point, f o is the center of the sphere and r is the pole and the x y this is x y is the object and figure given an object placed inside the focal length of a convex mirror that means object inside the focal length of the convex mirror now we have to draw this figure and uh, <coughs> for the formation of image and then we have to write the characteristics of image okay my dear students now number one so um, we have to at first we have to draw this figure this is a convex mirror that's why you have to do this this is the convex side so at first you have to uh, uh, give the you have to draw a straight line this is the principal axis okay principal axis this is the center r and this is the focal point f suppose this is focal point f this is the center of o and this distance that means pole to the uh, dif, uh, the focus point focal point to the distance of the focal point to the pole uh, is equal to the uh, will be equal to the distance of this of that means focal point to the center okay this distance will be same and equal okay my dear students and here given the object 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 is placed uh, inside the focal length that means here okay object is placed inside the focal length that means uh, here so suppose x y is the object now we'll apply the first rule at first <laughs> the uh, ray coming from point x from point y to the point of r and after reflection it will go back uh, the way it has come then <coughs> the next uh, uh, line the ray coming from the point o okay ray coming from the point o and after reflection it has go back to the same path then ray coming from point x and it will be parallel to the principal axis then after reflection it will go to the focus point focal point so after reflection it will go through the focal point and if we extend these two lines if we extend this line suppose this is a m and m dash mirror x it is a, a extend this line then this two ray will uh, intersect at this point and this is the then we have to draw a perpendicular from the y o line so it will be the x dash y dash these two lines will intersect at this x dash point and x dash y dash is the image of the object x y okay my dear students now uh, see here the image of image uh, in the focal point and the pole image is in the focal point and the pole the position of the image is focal point and the pole the, it is virtual and it is upright and it is the smaller than the object now we will draw the next figure now we will draw the next figure question number the next question for a concave mirror show where the image will be formed for an object x y by drawing a ray diagram we have given the conve concave mirror and this is the object an object placed inside the focal length of a concave mirror object placed inside the focal length so we will draw this figure now at first uh, draw a concave mirror okay draw a concave mirror then draw a principal axis 
suppose this one is principal axis okay this one is pole p here is focal point f the center of the sphere o and object is in the focal point okay placed is in the focal point that is uh, suppose this one is object x y so first uh, rule the light ray coming from point y on the p point and after reflection it will go to the same path then another light ray uh, coming from point x to the uh, center to the center of the sphere and after you have to draw with this uh, with a scale okay use the scale then after reflection it will go through the same path okay then uh, ray coming from point x uh, it will parallel to the principal axis and uh, after reflection it will go through the focus point okay go through the focus point and if we extend these two line it will intersect at this point suppose this one is x dash so now draw a perpendicular from this line this will be x dash y dash so x dash y dash will be the image of x y it will be the image of x y now uh, my uh, see the image is in the behind the mirror the position is image is in the behind the mirror it is virtual it is upright and it is the bigger than the image okay this is for concave mirror my dear students now we will draw the next figure see the question for a concave mirror show where the image will be formed for an object x y by drawing a ray diagram my dear students have given an object placed outside the focal length in a concave mirror so uh, at first we have to draw a concave mirror this one is a concave mirror then draw a principal axis suppose this one is pole p this one is the focal point f this one is the uh, center of the sphere o center of the sphere o now the object is placed out placed outside the focal lens that means here outside the focal lens so suppose this one is the object x y okay object x y so first ray coming from the point y dash and it is incident on the p point then after reflection it will go through the same path then uh, the next uh, ray coming from point x and uh, it will go through the center of the point center of the point and it will intersect in this point okay so it will go through the center of the point and after reflection it will go through the same path then next ray coming uh, the uh, uh, coming from point x and it is it will be the parallel to the principal axis and after reflection this is it uh, it will go through the focal point okay after reflection it will go through the focal point now we will uh, extend this line and these two line intersect at this point suppose this one is x dash so we will draw uh, draw a per, um, uh, perpendicular from uh, p o line and x dash y dash will be the image of the object x y my dear students now uh, the what is the characteristics of this image image is in the center of the curvature at infinity the image is in the center of the curvature and the infinity and it is a real this is re real image but infinity it is a downward and that means inverted it is inverted and it is bigger than the object my dear students now we will draw the next figure see the question here given a concave mirror <coughs> concave mirror and the uh, if the object is kept at 5 cm distance in front of the mirror then analyze the drawing the shape nature and position of the image my dear students now at, uh, at first you have to draw a concave mirror so draw a concave mirror then give the principal axis this one is suppose this one is the uh, pole p this is the uh, focal point f this is the center of the curvature o 
and the object is kept at 5 cm distance here given the object is kept at 5 cm distance so that's why object will be the uh, inside the focal point okay so here suppose here x y this is the object x y and the first ray coming from point y uh, and after, at the p point uh, and after reflection it will go through the same path and the second uh, ray the second ray coming from point x uh, to the center of the point and after reflection it will go through the same path okay and uh, next ray coming from point x point it is parallel to the principal axis and after reflection it will go through the it will go through the focus point focal point okay it will go through the focal point so if we extend this two line at this point then these two lines will intersect at x test point and we have to draw a perpendicular from this line so it will be x dash y dash and x dash y dash is the image of the so, uh, sorry it will be dot dot okay x dash y dash will be the image of the uh, object x y and now uh, the characteristics of this uh, image is shape of the image is magnified and it is the outside of the mirror uh, the it is virtual image it is upright and the position is the behind the mirror my dear students your sw number is 31 and this formation of image is uh, do this sw as your sw my dear students i hope all of you have understood our today's topic properly practice properly at home our today's topic see you again in the next class allah Hafiz.